Ben Fordham highlighted that 279,000 arrivals in six months and went on to say that this was plane loads of new people coming into the country. He didn't refer to them as net permanent and long term arrival statistics, by the way, which perhaps that's what he should have done. Now, in my own coverage of the data, I was at pains to point out the difference between the two data sets, by the way. But the trajectory is pretty clear. More migration, not less. Now, 2GB host Ben Fordham probably shouldn't have opened with the latest migration data is out. And instead says something like the latest data on net permits and long term arrivals into Australia is out. But frankly, this is a very small beer issue. The fact remains that the net permanent and long term arrivals figures was the highest for the six months of any year in Australia's history. Daniel Wilde, the deputy executive director of the Institute of Public Affairs, responded to the ABS's apparent attempt to censor the migration debate. It seems highly unusual that the ABS would publish data and then complain when it's used to uncover what is going on in Australia, he said. It appears that the ABS has been sent out by the Treasurer to shut down debate about the federal government's failed, unpopular mass migration program. While net permanent and long term arrivals and net overseas migration differ slightly, they remain closely related measures. They have been an accurate statistical guide which has uncovered Australia's unplanned migration crisis. It would be highly inappropriate for sections of the ABS to be running cover for the federal government to try and divert attention away from Australia's out of control migration system. The ABS needs to think very carefully about making itself a political target. The ABS can either stick to its role as an independent statistical agency or it will blow its credibility by politicising itself. There is no place for such political interference from any organisation that must be seen at all times as strictly impartial. I agree with that.